Good morning and welcome to church this day. It is a special day as we worship and thank God, the Father of us all. We also celebrate with all fathers across the world, all the fathers of St. John's and all the fathers we know. We say happy Father's Day to all of you. We thank God for bringing us together as we worship. We also have the honor across Canada today of celebrating the National Indigenous Day of Prayer. And so today, our order of service will be a bit different. It is something, um, one, that is approved by the Anglican Church of Canada. And you will find the order of service in um, maybe at our website or in our web Facebook page, or you can go to the email we sent you. You can take a minute and get your order of service because it will be different this morning. Thank you for coming and thank God for the opportunity we have to worship together. Again, welcome to church. Christ, our true and only light, receive our prayers and worship and illumine the secrets of our hearts with, our healing, with your healing and goodness that no evil desires may possess us who are made new in the light of your heavenly grace. Amen. Creator, you made all people of every land. It is our responsibility to give thanks and respect to those who first occupied this land we are upon. We give thanks for Anish Nabek, Andoswana, Ojimwe, and Chipoa, the first people of this land. We offer our respect to those ancestors who may be interred in this land. We are also thankful for the gifts of the people of this land. Creator, let us be of good mind to reconcile the mistreatments of this land and those who have been displaced. With thankful and respectful hearts, we pray in your name, your Son, the Peacemaker, and the Sacred Spirit. Amen. God, the Creator, the strength of the people, we honor you. Listen to the thoughts of your people. We respect the truth of your spirit world and care for your creations to the east, to the south, to the west, and to the north. We honor you by deeds and not words. We live by the ways you have entrusted to us within this cycle. Come, Great Spirit, as we gather in your name. We face east to your symbol color gold, the breath of the morning sun, to your animal sign, the eagle, which soars ever upward in the praise of the Creator and calls us to do the same, to your words calling us to balance our minds in the spirit of humility and truth. We invoke your spirit of illumination and far-sighted vision. The ways have shown us how to love you and each other with heart, mind, and soul. And we pray. Return to the south, to your symbol color red, the hue of revelation, to your animal sign, the wolf, strong and enduring. The ways call us to balance spirit and harmony with all nations, tribe, and clans. We invoke your wisdom, grace, and goodness of the ages, and we pray, come, Holy Creator Spirit, come. Return to the West, to your symbol color black, the stillness of night, to your sign thunder, mighty and bold, to your animal sign, the buffalo, the ways cause us to balance emotions in the tradition of 
truth and honesty. We invoke your spirit ways of seeing within the community and its strength to endure, and we pray. We turn north to your symbol, color white, the truth of clarity and brightness, to your animal sign, the bear, which touches us with earthiness and all things growing, to your words calling us to balance of our body in the spirit of a good sense and humor. We invoke your spirit of innocence, trust, and love. The ways open our eyes to the sacredness of each living thing, and we pray. All come, Holy Creator Spirit, come. We turn to complete the circle to God the Creator who cleanses the world with snow, wind, and rain, to the Creator's Son, Jesus the Christ, who fills us with mercy and a loving embrace of all nations, and to the Holy Creator Spirit who guides us, and we pray. All come, Holy Creator Spirit, come. Creator, you bend the earth like a bow until it was one round shining planet. At your word, the land was drawn into mountains and tundra, forests and prairies. The waters were gathered into rivers, lakes and seas. Many times when people crossed these seas from other lands, they broke the circle of your creation by their greed and violence and they shattered the lives of others. Creator, renew the circle of the earth and turn the hearts of all people to one another that they and all the earth may live and be drawn towards you through the love of Jesus Christ, who lives with you and the Holy Spirit in the circle of the Trinity forever one. Amen. Today's reading is from Isaiah chapter 40, verse 25 to 31. To whom will you compare me? Or who is my equal, says the Holy One? Lift up your eyes and look to the heavens, who created all these. He who brings out the starry hosts one by one and calls forth each of them by name. Because of his great power and mighty strength, not one of them is missing. Why do you complain, Jacob? Why do you say, Israel, my way is hidden from the Lord? My cause is discar discarded by my God. Do you, do you not know? Have you not heard? The Lord is the everlasting God, the creator of the ends of the years. He will grow tired or weary, and his understanding no one can fathom. He gives strength to the weary and increases the power of the weak. Even youths grow tired and weary, and young men slumber and fall. But those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength. They will soar on wings like eagles. They will run and not grow weary. They will walk and not be, not be faint. The word of the, the, word Lord. Of the Lord. The words of the Lord are spirit.
sweeter far than honey, than honey in the comb. The words of the Lord are spirit and life. By them also is your servant enlightened, and in keeping them there is great reward. Who can tell how often he offends, cleanse me from my secret faults. The words of the Lord are spirit and life. Above all, keep your servant from presumptuous sin. Let them not get dominion over me. Then shall I be whole and sound and innocent of a great offense. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in your sight. O Lord, my strength and my redeemer, the words of the spirit and life. The second reading is taken from the Gospel of John, the first chapter, beginning at the first verse. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was with God in the beginning. Through him all things were made. Without him nothing was made that has been made. In him was life, and that life was the light of men. The light shines in the darkness, but the darkness has not understood it. There came a man who was sent from God. His name was John. He came as a witness to testify concerning that light so that through him all men might believe. He himself was not the light. He came only as a witness to the light. The true light that gives light to every man was coming into the world. He was in the world, and through the world was made through him. The world did not recognize him. He came to that which was his own, but his own did not receive him. Yet to all who received him, to those who believed in his name, he gave the right to become children of God, children born not of natural descent, nor of human decision, or a husband's will, but born of God. The word became flesh and made his dwelling among us. We have seen his glory, the glory of the one and only, who came from the Father, full of grace and truth. John testifies concerning him. He cries out, saying, This was he of whom I said, He who comes after me has surpassed me, because he was before me. From the fullness of his grace, we have all received one blessing after another. For the law was given through Moses, Grace and truth came through Jesus Christ. No one has ever seen God, but God, the one and only, who is at the Father's side, has made him known. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. May the words of my mouth and the meditations of our hearts be as guided by the Holy Spirit, in the name of God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. Amen. But all, to all who receive him, who believed in his name, he gave power to become children of God. One of my favorite contemporary songs is the one, I am no longer slave to fear. I am 
a child of God. You know the one? I am no longer slave to fear. I am a child of God. Beautiful, beautiful chorus. Looking around us in our world today, seeing what life has become, I think more than ever, even though that phrase, more than ever before, is made in different times and different climes by different generations, it feels so right to say now, more than ever, for each and every one of us, we need that sure foundation, that spiritual grounding in which we can say, I am no longer slave to fear. I am no longer cast down by current trends and events. I am, I am a child of God. John chapter 1 carries this enduring message of the world which was in the beginning through whom all things were made. The world which became flesh and dwelt among us. Who came among his people but his people rejected him. They called him nothing. Cast him out and they chose their own ways. But verse 12 says that to them, to all who received him, he gave power to become children of God. You and I who received him, we have that insurance and assurance that no matter what, we are children of God. Boyd Pecker wrote something in his book which I think is very profound. He said, you are a child of God. He is the father of your spirit. Spiritually, you are of noble birth the offspring of the king of heaven. He said, fix, your, your, fix that truth in your mind and hold to it. However many generations in your mortal ancestry, no matter what race or people you represent, the pedigree of your spirit can be written on a single line. You are a child of God. We celebrate all our earthly fathers today. We also celebrate and pray for all indigenous peoples of these lands. We trust in the name of Jesus Christ, through whom, in spite of our past, we have freedom and authority to walk together in love as one. Trusting in the name of Jesus is accepting him as in the incarnate Son of God who came to the earth as a substitute for everything we have done and continue to do wrong. And in his death, burial, and resurrection procured our salvation. Trusting in the name of Jesus is believing that his atoning sacrifice paid the price for our sin, that we are born into the family of God, no longer slaves, no longer bound by the shackles of sin. We are, each and every one of us, children of the Heavenly Father. May this be our joy and trend through these times. In the name of God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. Amen.
Please join us in this declaration of faith. We believe in the love of God, embodied in the person of Jesus, spread through the cosmos by the Holy Spirit. Creator and Redeemer, as we approach you in prayer, make us walk in beauty and balance. Make us open our hearts and minds. Make us speak the truth. We pray first for our community of Tilsonburg, for St. John's Church, and the Anglican Diocese of Huron, the body of Christ. We pray for all our relatives in this circle of life throughout all creation, for those chosen to be our leaders and teachers. In peace, we pray to you, Lord God, the prayers of the people. The response is, teach us and show us the way. We call upon the earth, our mother and home, with its beautiful depths, soaring height and deep waters, its vitality and abundance of life. Together, we ask that it teach us and show us the way. We call upon the mountains and tundra, the high green valleys and prairies filled with wild flowers, the snows, the summits of intense silence. And we ask that they teach us and show us the way. We call upon the land which grows our food, the nurturing soil, the fertile field, the abundant gardens and orchards, and we ask that they teach us and show us the way. We call upon the forests, the great trees reaching strongly to the sky with earth in their roots and heavens in their branches, the fir, the pine, the cedar, the maple. We ask them to teach us and show us the way. We call upon the creatures of the fields, the forests and the waters, our brothers and sisters, the wolves, the deer, the eagle and bear, the great whales and the fish. We ask them to teach us and show us the way. We call upon all those who have lived on this earth, our ancestors and our friends who dreamed the best for future generations and upon whose lives our lives are built. And with thanksgiving, we call upon them to teach us and show us the way. Creator, you made the world and declared it to be good. The beauty of the trees, the softness of the air, the fragrance of the grass speaks to us. The summit of the mountains, the thunder of the sky, the rhythm of the waters speak to us. The faintness of the stars, the freshness of the morning, the dewdrops on the flower speak to us. But above all, our hearts soar for you speak to us in Jesus the Christ, in whose name we offer these prayers. Amen. Send us anywhere you would have us go. Only go there with us. Place upon us any burden you desire. Only stand by us to sustain us. Break any tie that binds us except that that binds us to you. And the blessing of God, the Creator, who made and knows us, the Savior who redeems and befriends us, the Spirit who enlightens and sustains us, be with you this day and always. Amen. In the name of the light that came into this world, Go in peace. Thanks be to God. Thank you for joining us in the service today. May God bless you and God bless your household. Stay safe and we'll see you again next week. Bye-bye.